Hello students, I am Shushil Gupta and today I am here to teach you chemistry. Chapter 1, an introduction to chemistry. In yesterday's class, I have already have mentioned that up till class 5, you have studied science. Is it? And we have categorized science into three categories, that is physics, chemistry and biology. Yesterday we have discussed about an introduction to physics and now for class 6th we are going to study about an introduction to chemistry. So let us recall yesterday's knowledge. What was science? It was just the systematic study of world around us based on experiments and observations. And this science was categorized into three branches. First one was physics, second one was chemistry and third one is biology. So yesterday we have discussed physics and biology we are going to discuss later. Today the topic will be of chemistry. So let us discuss chemistry in detail. So first of all, the question arises that are there more branches of chemistry? Yes, there are three more branches of chemistry. Chemistry is subdivided into three more branches. What are they? Let's see it. The first branch of chemistry is inorganic chemistry. Second branch of chemistry is organic chemistry. And third branch of chemistry is physical chemistry. Basically, there are three branches of chemistry which we will be studying in detail. So, first of all, what is inorganic chemistry? Inorganic chemistry is the study of all the compounds except carbon atoms. In inorganic chemistry, we are discussing about all the elements which are present inside the earth as well as outside the earth's crust. For example, aluminium, gold, silver, all these will come in the category of inorganic chemistry. Second branch of chemistry is organic chemistry. Here we are mainly studying about carbon and its compounds. We are studying about carbon and its compounds. Whatever the substances which are made up of carbon come in the category of organic chemistry. For example, methane, CH4, that is methane. C2S6, that is ethane. Both of them are consisting of carbon, therefore they both will come in the category of organic chemistry. CH3COOH, this is methyl alcohol. What is it? Methyl alcohol. So it is consisting of carbon, therefore it will come in the category of organic chemistry. Moving on to the last branch of chemistry that is physical chemistry what is it it is consisting of gas laws which are applicable in chemistry so whatever the laws we are studying related to chemistry that will come in the category of physical chemistry for example boyle's law charles law gas laws these all will come in the category of physical chemistry. So these were the three branches of chemistry. We are just starting from the basic so that from class 6 onwards only your base may be strong. So now let us define chemistry. Now the question arises, what is chemistry? So chemistry is the branch of science. We already have discussed Chemistry is the branch of science which deals with the study of different types of elements, different types of compounds, different types of substances and their properties. 
their nature, their properties, their chemical behavior, all these things we are going to study in the branch of science and that branch of science is known as chemistry. This was just the basic information and now we are going to start our chapter 1 that is an introduction to chemistry. This is the chapter 1. We are going to start it. An introduction to chemistry. So we already have discussed that what is chemistry. Now what we are going to discuss more in this chapter that is first of all we are going to discuss about chemistry its importance, how it is important to us. Another thing is famous chemists we are going to study in this chapter. Famous chemists, famous scientists who have done a lot for chemistry, for man and mankind also. Next topic will be applications of chemistry. Applications and uses. In which fields we are using? We are using chemistry in number of fields such as food, clothing, industries, medicines. So all these things we are going to study in this chapter. Now, do you know that what we call chemistry in Hindi? Can anyone tell? Yes. In Hindi, chemistry is known as Rasayan Shastra. It is known as Rasayan Shastra. Rasayan Shastra is a combination of two words. First one is Rasa. And third and second one is Sastra. So what is the meaning of word Rasa? It means essence. And what is the meaning of word Sastra? Sastra means science. So the collective meaning of chemistry will be study of matter. Yesterday also I have told you that what is matter? Anything which has mass and occupies space will come in the category of matter. All the things living as well as non-living both come in the category of matter only. For example, you can see this is stone. Is it? It is having mass also and it is occupying space. Same way this cell, this pen, this matchstick box Anything you can see, even the clothes which we are wearing, everything will be occupying some or the other space also and it will be having some weight also. Therefore, it will be all the living and non-living things are composed of matter. And matter is consisting of infinite, small, tiny, indivisible particles which is known as atom. So, atom is the smallest unit of matter. What is atom? It is the smallest unit of matter. As cell is the structural, basic and functional unit of life in biology, same way atom is the basic unit in chemistry. Nothing is just smaller than atom. All world is a part of chemistry only in one way or the other. Now the question arises, what is atom? Where does it exist and where does it come from? Is it? You might be having questions in your mind that what is atom? So according to definition, I have already told you that atom is the smallest particle which cannot be further divided. And for more clarity purposes, we will be just studying the structure of atom. Because without it, we cannot proceed in chemistry. So
So now we are going to discuss about the structure of atom. How it is. So atom is consisting of three subatomic particles. Subatomic particles. Subatomic means which are contained itself in the atom. So what are those three subatomic particles? Number one, electrons. Number two, protons. And number three, neutrons. So these are the three subatomic particles which are contained in an atom. If we are talking about the structure of atom, atom is consisting of a central hard dense structure that is known as nucleus. This is known as nucleus. Nucleus is consisting of two subatomic particles. One is proton and another one is neutron. Protons and neutrons are contained in the nucleus. And protons and neutrons are collectively known as nucleons also. Now, where the electrons are present? Electrons are moving in fixed circular paths around the nucleus of an atom. And these circular paths are known as orbits or shells. We can name them as orbits also and they can also be named as shells. The shell which is nearer to the nucleus is named as K, then L, then M, then N and so on. Or they can also be numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So these were the orbits and shells which are present around the nucleus of an atom. And electrons are revolving in these fixed orbits. So electrons are revolving in these fixed circular paths which are known as orbits. So these were the three subatomic particles, electrons, protons and neutrons. Electrons are represented by symbol E negative, protons are represented by symbol P positive and neutrons are represented by symbol N. From this, we can also come to know that electrons are negatively charged, protons are positively charged and neutrons are neutral in nature. So this was all about atom. Now, we all know that chemistry is everywhere around us. Is it? So, where, how chemistry is useful and in what way we are going to study chemistry that we are going to discuss. Chemistry is everywhere around us. That's why we are studying it. Where? In what field? C. It is in food. Whatever we are eating. It is in cloths. Which we are wearing. Synthetic cloths, nylon, rayon. They all are a part of chemistry only. In water. Which we drink. In air, which we breathe, in medicines, as well as in fertilizers on also. So, everywhere chemistry is present. No field is untouched with chemistry. So, all these things... We are going to study, that is applications of chemistry, we are going to discuss in upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a nice day.